and welcome to Living in the Van with Kyle Vlog Season 2 after a five month hiatus. It is, um, the day is now, oops, the day is now the uh, 6th of June, Wednesday. So I am out here in the pasture. But I will see to come pretty soon in kayak trip. Big, wide open, beautiful spaces. There is the car that I shall sell in Houston when I may. And uh, so I guess I'll give a little uh, talk about what I've been up to because it's been a long time since I uploaded the video. Look at my car. Isn't it nice? Don't you think somebody want to buy this? Yeah. Look at the immaculation. The ultimate living room. <laughs> Take your shoes off before you come in my house. <laughs> so, put the table up. And I guess I shall give you a vlog of what I did. So, vlog, living in van vlog. Um, yes, I left the house today, um, my mom suddenly kicked me out pretty much, um, the first words out of her mouth about two days ago were, you've overstayed, you're welcome, I was like, oh, so first she was like, you stay with your brother, and then I was like, hmm, but then I was like, no, I think I'll just get a move on and do my road trip, so, um, here we are on the side of the road. I'm on the side of the road because the car broke down. And I'm waiting for the tow truck to come. Lady called about five or ten minutes ago and said it would be a half hour, so I guess they're gonna tow it to Hayes, Kansas, and then I have it fixed. I was driving down the road and I felt this snap and this vibration right at my feet, so the, uh, and then the car just lost power, so uh, the, uh, the throttle cable broke, so at least it's not a big deal, but, and I have AAA, so, and I get to hang out here in the middle of the greenery, look how green this is, this is what I love about my van, like I can be, um, you know, I can be in the middle of like beautiful nature, like right at my doorstep like that, you know, but inside it's a cozy house at all times, it's great, you even have the pop-up up there, and the bed, and your music, it's, little storage area back here. It's badass. So anyways, so what have I been doing? So the last time I did speaking video was when I, I was Hitler about two months ago and then for that, yes, we had to be like, I've been in my house, I've been in my mom's house, I've been there for uh, four months. I was there, I got there at the beginning of uh, February. And um, when I first got there, she was like, yeah, you'll be here probably a month. And I was there for, I could have been there a month as far as preparing for my kayak trip and stuff, but I had a look at my personal website and I was like, I, and I looked at all the pages and I realized that I never finished any of them. Like it was just this whole collection of all these unfinished pages. So, but it was fun for me to kind of um, fix them all and make them all look, um, um, standard, standardize them all, so, and I think I found my voice, I think I found the, the, uh, the, uh, website design, that I want. so, but that's another video, but that's what I was doing, about a week and a half ago, I started running every day, and that was nice, I finally started running because I just started feeling so much pain, like, in my body, especially in my arm, and I thought maybe it was, like, astrophy pain, but, could have been from like compression too, because I'd be doing work on my computer, or lay on my belly with like the big pillow and maybe a little bit of compression on it, but I don't know, carpal tunnel or whatever. Anyways, I started to feel, and then I would feel like all this energy getting stopped up in me, and it was like weird, like I couldn't even hold the mouth steady because my arms started shaking, and so I was like, fuck, dude, I need to get some exercise. So I started running, and I ran. I think it was like 46 minutes or something. The last time I did it was took me 49 minutes to run four miles. It's two miles out, two miles back on this really badass trail. 
next to a river with fields like this all around and a lake there and a little uh, groundhog colony over here and dirt, dirt trail all the time. It's really cool. Um, so uh, yeah, I did that like every day. That was fun. I was getting faster. I think I did one in like 36, 48, but I, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it was 46. I don't know. See, I've been like really high, dude. <laughs> crazy high, especially lately, um, because I got a vaporizer, um, yeah, when I came back, I just been getting, you know, weed from different places, and just been staying high, I do my work on my website, and I think it was helping me a lot, too, with the, uh, creativity, and the grandiose ideas, and stuff, but I'll talk about that later, but I do think it was marijuana, um, induced, um, yeah, and also, like, the willingness to put all that detail into it, but anyways, um, and, but the last months, I haven't been listening at all to any audiobook, any any MP3 at all. Not since my car broke down. I haven't been doing any of that the last five months. No education for me. It was, I've been listening to music. I've been getting like listening to songs I have, and then getting songs off the internet, and then listening to them and listening uh, off YouTube, and then listening to them over and over and over and over again, like the same song, like like for like five days, the same song over and over again for some reason. Like getting myself into some like mindset, I, but I've been listening to like lots of different kind of music too. Sometimes the radio, but radio these days I don't really like. But I was like uh, tripping out, you know, being all high and listening to music. It was like the feeling of the song of the cosmos reaching a crescendo. I think there's a lot of energy going on right now. I saw that guy uh, Christopher Witecki on um, I can't remember what it's called that one site. He said Capricorns are like experiencing lots of energy for the next two months. He said that like a month ago or something. So, so now's the time to do it. He's like, so now's the time to strike. If you wait two months, then you're not gonna be able to strike. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now it's time to strike. Yeah, because I need the mood. I need to be cool to do it. It's a perfect time. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about what I'm doing and what I've been doing. I've been having fun with my mom, doing lots of work for my mom, helping my mom out. I didn't lose any money living with my mom. She's been giving me free room and board because I've been helping her out and stuff, like, you know, helping out organizing the house and all that kind of stuff and website help business and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm about $10,000 in debt right now. About the same as I was when I first got Because I bought a lot of stuff for my kayak trip, too. Um, so, uh... Yeah, so I'm going to, so let me tell you my plans. Okay, plans are to, um, uh, well, <laughs> I still have some preparation to do for my kayak trip. Uh, I went out to the um, reservoir yesterday, and uh, I was spent all day trying to organize my stuff and find out where to put my stuff, and I didn't know, couldn't find a place where to put it, and then, we finally left. I didn't even put the thing in the water, and so I was like, "Fuck!" I was gonna leave tomorrow, so I was like, "You know what? Let's just go out and have a like, or go out to dinner, have our like, get a uh, farewell dinner like tonight, because I won't leave tomorrow. Because I don't like, I just need the time to myself. So I think I'm just gonna go to like a park where the lake is and just like put the boat down and like organize everything, taking my time, living out of the van, like kind of like how I did that with my web, my, my history timeline. Just take my time, lay it out, and even get in the butt water, because I haven't done the flip test with it fully loaded yet. So, and yeah, and like calculate how much, you know, water, uh, weeks, days of food I have, I can put on there, and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, anyway, yeah, and then I have to uh, write up a, uh, a for sale thing with all the information for my car, which I haven't done yet. But anyway, as soon as I do all that, I'm going to uh, put the ads out as many places as I can and stuff in Houston. Because it's a big city in America, like the fourth biggest in America, and it uh, seems like they have money. They got, like, NASA there and all that, and so hopefully I'll be able to sell my car there, and that's like an hour from Galveston, I think, so then whoever buys my car drives me and drops me off on the beach in Galveston, and I can go, and I'll be out of debt and over money. Uh, man, start making money with my YouTube. Uh, I haven't... I gained subscribers since I stopped making videos. I think I had 1,100 subscribers when I stopped making videos, now I have, like, 1,300 and I haven't made any videos. I made like three videos since then. But I made $100 last month. I made 106 bucks. It was like 75 from YouTube and like 25 from like my website, ads on my website. 
my website didn't have ads for like five years and all of a sudden they appeared again after I wrote them a bunch of times they never wrote me back and all of a sudden my ads appeared again so uh, that's cool so I put those on so maybe I'll make some more money with that stuff with my show my brother is in film cinematography school and he was telling me yesterday that he's going to he's going to edit and upload all my videos all I have to do is send him the SD cards see my mom was going to do it but she's not very good with computers so it was a little bit sketchy but now my brother's like oh I'll do it and uh so he's gonna like, like he interviewed me yesterday and he's gonna do like a, my voice and then like really fast with me organizing my stuff. And when I send him back the videos, he's gonna like put words on them and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be cool, man. Um, it's gonna be cool for me because I get to have cool YouTube shows going out and I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is go record and then just mail it. And be like, and like be a separated from the computer. I'm really excited for that. I'll talk about that when I talk about my kayak trip. But, uh, yeah, like, to get in shape, you know. <sighs> um, <laughs> I'm, like, in the worst shape ever of my entire life right now. So I'll definitely make sure to do, like, a physical fitness test so I can monitor my improvement. But, um, but yeah, I've been, I've been wasted high for so long. It was, it was really cool. Listen to the same music over again. I, I, I saw that, heard that uh, Ellie, Lights from Ellie Goulding on the radio, so then I downloaded that and I heard that a bunch, and then I heard some other songs from her, and then there was that other song, um, Glad You Came, from the one two that I heard over and over again, and then the Beastie Boys, the new Beastie Boys album that I got off YouTube, and some other stuff, but um, I have some music with me, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start listening to my uh, audiobooks and stuff again pretty soon. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then like a week ago or something, I got a vaporizer, and it's this plug-in type of vaporizer, and it like, uh, it's like this tube, looks like a hookah, and it like burns the weed to a crisp, and the, but the weed that comes, the smoke that comes out is way better than even a bong, like, because when I first started running, I wasn't doing the vaporizer, and then the half, second half of my running, I was doing the vaporizer, and like, I was having totally horrible asthma for the first, like, um, three miles. And then I could finally breathe. Then I started smoking out of the vaporizer. I could run the whole thing, no asthma problems, you know? And I, maybe I'd have, like, a little asthma problems if I, like, got wasted roasted, like, right before the run, you know? So, stuff is amazing, dude. You can, like, adjust it up to 500 degrees, you know? And it burns it all. I mean, it, it conserves better than a pipe. I mean, there's no resin or anything left in the, anywhere in there. Well, a little bit of cruise, but yeah, dude, it's amazing. Um, anyway, but I've been wasted roasted for five months, and especially for last week, like, I got, like, blown out. One day I got so high that I slept all day. It was, like, two or three days ago, three days ago or something. I just slept all day. I was just like... And I had to be drinking, like, tons of orange juice to keep me awake and stuff, but orange juice, I love orange juice, but anyways, uh, so that's that, here's my living room, uh, it's like the last time I get to do my living room, so, that's me, that's my vlog, it's a pretty long vlog, 13 minutes, and I will do one tonight, because day by day, night by night, living in the van with Kyle, that's what it's all about, one in the morning, one at night, I didn't do one in the morning this morning with my mom, my mom, can't do vlogs with my mom, my mom doesn't, doesn't like it, you know, me talking about her and it, I don't like talking if I have to not talk about stuff so plus I was too high and I'm high now but anyways talk to you guys later what's up this is as much as I can do my fuse blew out in my van so I'll fix it tomorrow <laughs> so what happened was I called them and they like came an hour later and that dude he said he drove 500 miles a day he'd been up since four so he took me to the easier place which is like 15 minutes back and I went to see the movie, but it was starting in like an hour and a half, so I went back to my car and got high. But then I like went back there, but it turns out that I crossed time zones, so I missed the movie. It sucks because I got all high and I was going to see Avengers for the second time in 3D, which is totally good. Whatever. So anyways, that's that. Um, yeah, kind of boring when you can barely see my face, so we'll just, I'll get it fused tomorrow and then yeah, next time it'll be, you'll be able to see my face. Okay. Peace out.